Okay, so here's an experimental probability question that you might encounter. Apologies, of course, for the poor way in which it was set up. I'm just modeling what I typically find on state tests, but here's how it goes. Sean has blue, red, green, and orange marbles. They are all the same size and texture. They have to say that, of course, because if they're not, it's not a fair or random experiment, right? You could tell, for example, if the blue marbles are twice as large as the other, you could reach in, feel around, and always pick, a, pick out a blue marble. So, okay, if he conducts an experiment in which the theoretical probability of pulling an orange marble out of a bag without looking is 2 to 5, what experimental setup does Sean use? So, I mean, I don't like this question, first of all, because they're not, not so clear about 2 to 5. Does that mean there are 7 marbles in the bag and 2 of them? right, or orange? I'm not so sure about that right there, but we can still answer this question, I think. What I'm going to do is um, uh, take each of these scenarios they give us, write them as ratios, and look for connections here. Okay, so let's go. In the first one, um, we have one blue, one red, one green, and one orange. So what does that mean? The ratio of orange to total is one, right, to four. So it's one to four. And I guess, you know, it. I'm, I think that they say pulling, you know, pulling an orange marble out of the bag without looking. So that's implying that this ratio right here is two, right, out of five, or out of five marbles here, because um, probability is typically a part to whole comparison. So most likely, what the two means is the orange marbles, and the five means the total marbles in the bag. So now, when we write this ratio out here, one to four. We're looking to see is one to four and two to five are those equivalent? The answer is no, right? You can double one to four and you get two to eight, and it might help you see. You know, two to eight and two to five are very different ratios, so this can't be the setup. The next one here, we get two blue, two red, two green, and five orange. That's two, four, six plus five is eleven, and five of them are orange. Is five to eleven the same as two to five? Well, in case you know, if we can't see that, we can scale both of these up. 5, we can double it, and we get 10 for 22. Here, if we take this one up and scale it by 5 times, I'll write this over here, we get 10 for 25. And all I'm doing is multiply both parts by 5. 10 for 25 and 10 for 22, or 10 out of 22, excuse me, and 10 out of 25 are different ratios. Right, so this ratio is out as well. On the next one, though, I think we hit a match, because what happens is you have 3, 6, 9, plus 6, that's 15 marbles, and out of the 15, 6 of them are orange. So 6 out of 15, if we reduce that, we can divide both parts by 3, and we get 2 to 5. And all I did was divide 6 by 3 and, and divide 15 by 3 and reduce that ratio. And yes, that matches the theoretical probability. So most likely here, C is the correct choice, but just for fun, let's try the last one. 5, 10, 15, and 15 more is 30, so I'm adding these up. So that's 15 orange out of 30 total. That's a 1 to 2 ratio, or 1 out of 2 ratio, excuse me. So this one doesn't match as well. So here all you're doing really is matching part to whole ratios. And the, they could have cleared up the, the language a little bit uh, by saying something like, you know, the probability of pulling an orange marble out of the bag, um, they could elaborate. It's implied that the probability is part to whole, but you might not know that. They should say the ratio of orange marbles to total marbles has to be 2 to 5. All right, in other words, find that ratio here, because that's what they're asking you to do. All right, hope that helped.